Hello, ye developers, welcome back to the Doing It Is channel. Today's lesson we are going to do dynamic forms. Dynamic forms are a way that you can create uh, uh, form fields dynamically. For example, if you take an invoice, an invoice has another table called invoice items. So in an invoice, you have to allow the user in order to add as many invoice items there as he wants. So you can't actually put all the field elements there beforehand in the form. So you have to use something called dynamic forms in U2. Uh, actually, you can do this for not only for invoice, for purchasing orders. For example, a purchasing order has a purchasing order items. So you should allow the user to put as much as items that he needs. Uh, in the form and submit it. So the way to do it is dynamic forms. So in any web application that you are creating, you would want to use this. So uh, we are going to do this today. Uh, we are going to do this by using an extension that someone has created. Uh, so go to Google and type in U2 dynamic forms. Dynamic forms. And you will get this. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, uh, as always, we have to first install it. You can run this uh, using terminal. Uh, so I'm going to do that. Uh, so I'm going to get into the advanced directory. OK, so I'm going to paste in the code. Let me enlarge this uh, paste in the code. Since I have installed Composer globally, I don't want this and I don't want this, but I would put the sudo command in and we'll write. Okay, since that is being that is going on in the background, let's go to the database section and let's create our two tables. One is going to be the main table and the other one is going to be has its own items. So let's go with the example of let's say purchasing order. I'm going to put three fields, not a lot. Uh, the ID, primary, and purchasing order number, and the description. That's it. Let's put ten. Uh, let's put ten there, and let's put a text. Uh, text there. Okay, and save. And we are going to create PO item table. So this is going to have uh, uh, the item number and the quantity, I guess. Okay, we can have the item number and the quantity. That's it. So three, uh, actually four we need because we need the foreign key as well. So ID to increment. So pay O item, let's get number and oh, 10. We have to have the quantity, so we'll put the quantity. quantity and it's going to be put as double. And of course, the foreign key of the PO. So PO ID. I'm going to make it int and I'm going to make it an index. Yeah, that will do. So let's make sure this is running. Yeah, it's running. Uh, uh, so one thing I have to check did I make this an auto increment did I did I did I did I no okay. Okay, I just made this an auto increment now the next thing is we have to go to the purchasing order item section and create the relationship uh, make this PO PO ID select it and save and of course let's go to the G tool in order to create the two create the card for both of them so models first is the PO and uh, run generate and PO item item and generate preview preview yes we have the PO item and generate Okay, and next is we have to create the card for both of them. So content models PO. I'm gonna copy this again and put the search and the controller. 
P oh, controller. Trivial. Front end model PO does not exist. Mm -hmm. Front end models. Oh no, it's not front end actually, it's back end. Sorry. Back end. Sorry about that. Back end. This is also in the back end. I, I have been doing some stuff in the front end, so. Okay, let's generate that and let's do the same for the PO items. PO item and PO item search. PO item control. Okay. Preview and generate. Uh, okay. So, has this been completed? Yeah, that has been completed. Good. So let's check out our PO. We have the PO and we are in the PO section. No, we have to change this form. So first thing we have to get in, uh, we have to get into the back end, views PO form. And let's check to look at this uh, extension. Okay. So actually, he has, he has given an example. Uh, he has given the code for the example as well. It's pretty easy to follow, but I'm going to take you through it as well. Um, so for this section, we are going to do the front end part of it, and in the next part of this lesson, we are going to do the back end. I mean, in actually saving the data into this database. Okay. So let's first of all use this. We have to use this. Okay. And uh, actually, let's copy. I'm gonna copy this part. The panel start from the panel start to the panel end. Okay. So I'm gonna use it, and I'll explain the code. Okay. I think that's it. I'm gonna create a separate row for this. Let me check whether we got all the got all the divs. Yes, we did. I guess. Or did we not? Yes, one div is missing. And, and div is missing. Okay, that, that that's that. Okay, so let me go explain through the explain the code that I copy and pasted. Um, first of all, this is let's change the stuff that we have. Um, we are not talking about addresses we are talking about PO items so we can put it there PO items and yeah uh, it's, it provides a limit the limit uh, you I'll explain this later the, the model address we are not doing we have changed this stuff and okay let's get into the controller and I'll explain there are a few things that we need to pass purchasing order Okay, to the create and we have to have in the controller we have to put this code uh, so we are creating a model address actually not a model address we are creating the models of PO items so we'll have PO items here PO items and the model for that PO items is PO item of course we have to use it in the top Use backend models PO item. There you go. Um, next is uh, so we are not going to. I'm not going to cover the submission part of this in this lesson. So we are going to just make the create for view of the uh, dynamic form. So model PO items. We'll pass that. Oh, we can't pass that. We'll pass like this, not actually this in a sense. This is for so. Oops. Okay. Replace this with the variable that we have created. 
uh, I hope I don't have to explain this, but let me do that. Okay, so it checks whether this is empty, model is empty, then it's going to submit this. If it's not empty, it's going to send the PO items that has been created here. Actually, this is done for the update section of it. Anyway, since we are passing this into the create file, view file, we have to go check the from here we have submitted uh surpass it to the um uh, form element PO item and models, models PO item okay did I get the names correct? Models PO item. Let's make it PO item because it's PO item. models of PO item. Models of PO item. Okay. Models of PO item. There you go. Now, now this form knows that we have um, that we have not a model's address but a model's PO item. We are going to use that and the form id is dynamic form and here are the form fields right now we don't have full address we have po what are the fields that we have we have po item number po item number and the quantity of course we have the quantity and the quantity that's the only two fields that we are going to have we are not going to put the po and then we are going to we are going to add this in the controller so no need to view show this uh, so that's it actually and let's look through the our models PO items array model PO item and let's put a PO item name there I mean you can change the layout of this but I'm not going to do it now so this is for the update section if, if we are, when we are doing the update but we are in the create section so no worries about that so next two things that we have is the actually get rid of this we don't want this let's put the purchasing order number item number here and the quantity there okay so get rid of the rest of it Okay, so let's make model PO items, model PO item, model PO item, quantity text input. Yeah, save and let's check it out. Okay, you should get this. So now when you click this, actually nothing happens. There's a reason for that because we had put the form ID here. For example, if you go check here in the active form, they have put the form ID, dynamic form. So we have to do the same. Uh, the form ID here is also mentioned, but you have to put it in the form element, form tag here. So let's put that there.